Been a while since I've been on YouTube, but here we go. Today I'll be teaching you how to use Nikon's new software, NX Tether, and how you can use it together with Lightroom Classic. Okay, so the Z9 was announced about two weeks ago, and together with that, Nikon actually released two new softwares. They introduced NX Tether, a software that allows you to connect your Nikon camera to your laptop, as well as NX Mobile Air, a software that allows you to connect to your mobile phone. I still do appreciate the cloud sync that I get from Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Mobile, so what I like to do is I will set up NX Tether in such a way that it helps to get my photos in from my camera to my laptop, and then it will automatically import into Lightroom after that. So here's how you're going to set it up. So I have NX Tether open on the left here. I can control my AF, the shutter, and you can see my Z62 is connected to the camera. Destination-wise, you can put computer, card and computer, or just the card in the Z62 itself. And that's really helpful. And here I'm going to choose where I want my photos to end up in my laptop itself. At the bottom, I can also control all the other settings that I need to. Moving on to Lightroom, I just need to go into Auto Import, Auto Import Settings. Make sure that my watch folder is the exact same folder as the destination in NX Tether. And after that, if you're using the cloud, make sure you add to collection. You can create a new collection and make sure that it's synced to your cloud itself. This is a shoot that I was doing with uh, one of my clients in the office the other day. NX Tether will give you a green indicator right below the shutter button if the photos are transferring. And right after they transfer, you can see that it goes into Lightroom itself. It does take a while because I'm using a USB 2 cable. If you use a USB 3.1 cable, things will be much faster. But once it goes right into your Lightroom, you are able to see the photos immediately and see how your photos turn out. Because this whole folder is connected to the cloud, what happens is that all these photos are actually being uploaded to my Lightroom cloud to actually appear on my Lightroom uh, that is synced across all my devices. Now moving on to my iPad, in literally just a few minutes, all the photos are synced to my cloud and you can see that this exact same folder is in my iPad itself. I can see all the photos that I've taken over here and it's really really helpful looking at it in grid view, I can enter, I can give a rating to my photos and just start to choose my photos by looking at them on my iPad. With the iPad itself, I can also do some simple cropping and I can also use my Apple Pencil to do any spot healing. Like right here, I'm removing that pimple off his nose. So after that, once I'm happy with my selection, with my photos and as well as with my edits, I can just select the photos that I want and click that share button and export them to files or export them to my camera roll. So that was actually a super short video, but it just shows you what NX Tether can do and how you can actually link it all the way to your Lightroom Classic and have it on your Lightroom Cloud as well. And then you can edit on the go and you can just have all your photos in one place. NX Tether, because it's created by Nikon, is a lot more stable compared to like Capture One or Lightroom Classic. And I've just been having a lot less problems with this um, in like the three shoots that I've done so far. So uh, as you saw, I was actually editing on my iPad for a fair bit today as well. This is my new iPad mini. I actually got it about a week ago. Uh, I had to wait a whole month just to get it because it was pre-ordered like crazy, I think, or back-ordered like crazy. Um, yeah, but this has been a really helpful tool. It's small enough just for me to carry around and it's perfect for me to do my editing on the go, either on the train or on the bus or yeah, right after I finish shooting my clients as well. So I'm going to be doing a full review about the iPad mini 6 from a photographer's perspective. But right here, you can just see how helpful this whole setup is. You know, I have uh, NX Tether running out on my laptop and everything is just syncing to the cloud. I know Nikon also announced NX Mobile Air and I'm really excited to try that on my iPad and see how I can transfer my photos quickly from my device straight to my iPad and then straight to Lightroom on my iPad itself. Um, if you'd like to see more iPad content, do stick around for more. That's going to be what's next in this channel. So yeah, I hope that today you learned something about how you can use NX Tether as well as Lightroom Classic to speed up your workflow as well as to improve shooting Tether. Uh, I love shooting connected. I think that it's a, it's a great way to be able to see what you're shooting and see the final image like appear right away. It's also great for my clients because they're able to see the picture like right on my screen. Um, I'm really happy with this product. I think it's a step in the right direction. I really enjoy it. So Nikon, good job there. And yeah, I'm just gonna be playing with this and do drop any questions you may have and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks.